Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have an adorable album to share with you. I use lots of gorgeous products from both Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit collections. I used a, a paper collection from Knitwit, and I'll have links for both down in the description box below. So if you have any questions, check out the description box. This album, the covers measure eight by seven and the inside pages are seven and a half by six and a half. The spine is four inches and here I have a popped up sentiment that says moments to ponder. I have this adorable turtle on a scallop. Here is the back. The paper collection is an absolutely gorgeous paper collection. It's called On Knitwit Pond and it has tons, if you get the bundled um, package. It has tons of little elements to use, so you'll see that I used quite a few of them throughout this album. So on the front, I did a couple layers of paper. I did a frame around it as well, a large scallop, and this adorable element that comes in it is this frog with um, on the branch. I did, I think, four or five layers of it, and I popped up the leaves, and I did Mod Podge everything in matte finish just because it was so dimensional and I just wanted to make sure that um, it stayed on very well. I have a sentiment here that's popped up on chipboard and it says these are the moments to ponder and cherish. I used an adorable bee and a little butterfly and I added little antennas to them using some um, wire that I had in my stash. I added some of the flowers from the elements pack and then some beautiful open roses in peach. I just added a, a, three of those and three of the sweetheart blossoms. I love mixing the combination. I added three enamel dots and I absolutely, absolutely am in love with the cover of this. I just, the elements are so cute. So for my binding, I used Kathy Orta's hidden hinge system. However, I did not put the extender wings on it and I gave myself, I believe a 5 8 inch gusset. I wanted a, a nice gusset for it. I made the paper using craft cardstock. Every single page has a large pullout bracket tab for more photos. So this album will hold lots of photos. I won't pull all those out, they're all the exact same. So on the first page here I have an open frame with some flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have some Cosmo daisies on um, both the top and bottom and a cherry blossom. I used one of the adorable elements. Um, this turtle is an element and then that same sentiment that says the earth these are the moments to ponder and cherish. I just added that to a blue background paper that comes in the kit. I added three of these pearl stars. I absolutely love them. Wild Orchid Crafts has them in hearts and stars, ivory and both white. And you'll find links to everything that I've used down in the description box. You'll find the um, codes for them. So this frame is left open so a photo can slip right in the back and I have a few frames like that throughout my album so I have templates for them so whoever gets this album can use the template set it directly over their photo trace it and then be able to tuck that in but they're not very pretty looking so I kind of hide them in the album so this album or this page is a magnetized flip open so room for a large photo here here's a little belly band using this cute snail let me scoot it over a little. So this pulls out. Again, more photos can be added. And this is closed down here, so photos can be placed down here and not worry about them falling through. On this side, I have a diagonal pocket. I use some of the filigree corners, some more of that flat back trim, and another one of the um, labels that I popped up on some craft card stock and a little bit of chipboard. It says, you are turtly awesome. I have one of the paint chips. These are probably one of my favorite things that come with the Knitwit Collections elements. They always do the same um, paper line and then the little paint chip, so I tuck that in here. On the front here, I built this little scene. So it came with the little pond. I added the pond, I added a flower, I added the turtle on the front, or excuse me, the frog on the front. I added these flowers, and then these little clusters came together. So I added those, the butterfly, and the um, 
Dragonfly. You open it up, it's on cardstock, so there's a little booklet for more photos. And I love that you can just design however you want with the paper collections. So on this side I have a flip up, a large scallop, room for photo or journaling, and a photo here. This adorable turtle, some enamel dots, and some sweetheart blossoms, along with the little cute bee. And I think, I don't know what I'm saying on the front, I, I don't know what I called it, but I have a bee and a, a dragonfly here. I probably called it a butterfly or something. On this side I have a coin envelope, a couple of the flowers that come in the collection with some leaves and then some beautiful sweetheart blossoms. I love adding those. To the top here I have a pull-out mat with this adorable paper. So for journaling, photos, whatever the person would like. And then you open this up, I have some um, fabric brads here that I thought went well with the collection and another mat for the inside. So this is considered their solid paper. I don't know how well it'll pick up on camera, but as you can see, it still has some design to it, which I love. So photos can be placed in here as well. Let me just wrap that around again. On this side is this adorable little frog, and he is um, he has a Cosmo daisy and a couple tulips from Wild Orchid Crafts. I use some of the flowers that come in the collection along with a label, so someone can place a date or a name, whatever they'd like. And this is a little photo mat, this adorable paper. Again, these come in the collection, and I just added them onto the paper and then printed it out. This is magnetized and it flips open for more photos. Again, I designed my own paper. This is just a solid paper. I added this large flower here and here, and then I added a frame, and then I added a cardstock frame to the top. A large place for a photo, or a smaller photo, I guess. It says hop on over. Added this element to the paper as well. On this side, I have a large frame, and on, in the front, I do have a template for this frame. I love this frame. It's like a bracket frame. And look at this adorable paper in the background. I have one of the beaded flowers, handmade beaded flowers in white. These are gorgeous. This is my first time using one, and I love them. And then I have some Cosmo daisies, some of the flowers from the paper collection, and then a few leaves from Wild Orchid Crafts. On this side I have a little belly band with a couple of mats inside. I added some Cosmo daisies to the top. And look at this adorable banner strip that comes in the collection. I love the little frogs peeking out. Let me give you a closer look. Super cute. And then this flips open. Again, I use this little frog on a branch and I left him open so a photo mat or photos can be placed behind it. I left these open as well so a photo can be tucked underneath and I do have a template for this large frame as well. On the side here again I built my own little cluster and I popped him up a little so he is a little dimensional and I added it to a pocket with a little place for a label. Again this adorable paper and I added some beautiful sweetheart blossoms. I have a large mat that I added this adorable element to. So lots of room for photos. I have two tags and as you can see I just scaled that um, paper down. So I like that you can customize it for what you need. I added an enamel dot to the top there, some twine to this one. On this side I have a bracket pocket and I added the word find joy every day. I love this. I um, added adorable frog with the Cosmo Daisy, two different mats with this cute paper. Again, some more of those Cosmo Daisies. On this one, I added Laughter Love Memories. So those just tuck in here. And this is actually a pretty large pocket, so quite a few photos could fit in this. On this side, I um, added a sentiment that says have a beautiful day, one of the little bees and dragonflies, a few of the flowers. Here I have a little pull-out tag. Journaling or photos can be added. And I have one of these flower uh, 
rhinestone embellishments. So again, that tucks in here. I have this gorgeous organza trimming in small, and I made a bracket pocket that flips down with a little side pocket and a mat. And then I added this adorable flower on the lily pad. To the top here, I added one of their banner strips. This already comes made, so I just sized it to what I needed. Added a B on a circle. And then a pocket here. Again, more photos. On this side, I have a side pocket with this adorable frog, some open roses, and a sweetheart blossom. And look at this mat. I, again, just added the flower and the little frog to the paper. I added one of the large gemstone um, embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts to the center. So a little photo or journaling can be placed or a larger photo on the back. Again, I used some more of that gorgeous organza trimming on a belly band with that adorable paper. And look at this little water paper in the back. Super cute. I have two mats here. Added some more of the flowers. On the last page, I have another large scallop frame with some white chrysanthemums, some of that beautiful pearl loop spray. I have a flower from the Element Collection tucked back here with one of those large embellishments here as well. I'll give you a closer look. This adorable pattern in the back. And on this last page, I did two large bracket pockets. I added a label here, so a date, name, whatever can be placed. A couple, or actually three, four flowers here from the Element Collection. I stacked one of them. I added a pearl brad to the center and some of the new coral open roses from Wild Orchid Crafts. That's the first time using them and I love them. It's such a pretty color. So to the pocket I added, this is a large mat, the smaller mat. Look at that adorable paper. Again, photos can be placed. These are pretty big pockets as well. And then one large mat to the top. And that is my album. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. You will find links in the description box below. And uh, I hope you stop by both Knitwit Collections and Wild Orchid Crafts. Check out all their amazing products. And Knitwit Collections has lots of paper collections to choose from. Thanks for watching.